How does the deep sea drilling vessel Chiku drill into the sea floor? When the vessel arrives at the drilling site, it receives a satellite signal that helps the vessel move into the exact position required. The vessel has six propellers that rotate a full 360 degrees and keep the vessel in one position, preventing it from drifting due to the wind, waves, or sea current. First, the conductor pipe is installed. As the drill pipes are connected, the conductor pipe and guide are run down to the seafloor. After the conductor pipe penetrates the seafloor, the drill pipe is released and pulled back to the vessel. A large drill bit connected to the bottom of the drill pipe is run down to the seafloor. The drill bit is led down to the bottom of the hole through the conductor pipe. The drill bit rotates and drills the sediment and rock below the seabed. Seawater is sprayed from nozzles on the drill bit to raise the cuttings to the sea floor. After drilling several hundred meters, the drill bit is pulled back to the vessel. A casing pipe, about 50 centimeters in diameter, is set into the drilled hole to keep it from collapsing. The casing pipe is run down through the conductor pipe and is inserted into the hole using the drill pipe. Cement is pumped into the space between the hole and the casing pipe to fix the pipe in place. After cementing, the drill pipe is released and pulled back to the vessel. The Chiku is equipped with the riser system in order to drill into the earth even deeper. As the riser pipes are added one after another, the blowout preventer is run down to the seafloor. The blowout preventer is connected to a wellhead which is located on top of the casing pipe. The vessel is now connected to the seafloor via the riser pipe. A drill bit, smaller than the one first used, is run down through the riser pipe and casing pipe. The drilling begins. Once the riser pipe has been connected, drilling mud is used instead of seawater. When the target depth is reached, the drill bit is pulled back to the vessel. To drill the hole even deeper, a narrower casing pipe is set in to protect the drilled hole. After the casing pipe has been installed, cement is pumped into the space between the hole and the casing pipe to fix the pipe in place. Again, an even smaller drill bit is run down through the riser pipe and casing pipe, and the drilling continues. Repeating this process, the Chiku will drill through the ocean crust to collect fresh, live mantle. This is something that has never been done before. <laughs>